If you have bone on bone knee arthritis, an exercise seems virtually impossible right now because it's hard to really do anything without flaring up your pain. I am so glad you're here because I challenge you to follow this 20 minute exercise video to see what your potential is and how that you can actually move without flaring up your pain. Once you find movements that you can do to start to build confidence, this is your first step to finding natural relief from your bone on bone knee arthritis. You can do this. You just need a chair and some space around you. And we're gonna actually start seated in this chair. Preferably if it has arms, that would be perfect just so you could hang on to them for support. But all you're gonna do just to start is just start to warm up by kicking those knees out. Ideally with any exercise, especially related to arthritis, it should make you feel better afterwards and not worse. So if at any point something flares up your knee to a significant level, then we'll modify that and continue on as long as that pain start to, starts to dissipate a little bit. If you start to have significant pain that sticks around, then pause the video and then come back to it the next day. Give yourself some rest or give yourself at least a few hours to rest. Okay, now, all I want you to do is come up onto your toes and then you're gonna lift your toes off the ground. Come up on your toes and then lift your toes. Your ankles are actually super important for knee arthritis and so we wanna make sure those are moving pretty well. Just up and down, up and down. Now what I want you to do is you're gonna scoot out to the edge of the chair and you're going to extend one leg. Now you're gonna take that leg, hang on to the arms if you need them, but you're going to take that leg and try to lift it up. One of the things I want you to try to avoid is leaning back. So I want you just to try to lift it up, even if it's just a little bit off the ground. I don't want you to really have to heave your hip and get your hip into it. So you're just lifting up and down. And I really want you to think about squeezing your leg as straight as you can first. See your kneecap kind of get pulled up by your quads if you can, and then lift, just pulsing up and down. This, you should start to feel it in your quad or your thigh muscle. If you need to kind of shake it out, especially if you're getting a cramp, that means you just need to work on these muscles a little bit more, so up, and down. And now I want you to switch. So just go ahead and bend and straighten that leg a few times so you can kind of stretch that out. And then now I want you to switch to the other side. So I really want you to try to get this knee as straight as you can and then lift it up. Again, you can hang on to the chair arms if you need to, but I just want you to pulse it up and down, keeping that leg as straight as you can. If it's a little bit bent, that's okay, but I want you to really try to get it as straight as you can without being painful. And just lift it up and down. Just warming up here, three, two, and one. Now what you're going to do, we're gonna stay on the edge of the chair. You're going to open up, so you're gonna take your arm out and walk your leg out. One thing I don't want you to do though is to step out this way where your knee is kind of on the inside of your leg. I want you to step together and come out. And we're just gonna stay on this side and I want you to take that arm out straight as you take that leg. And notice I'm touching kind of with a flat foot. So make sure you're stepping with some determination and you're stepping with some purpose out to the side and back in. We have three two and last one now switch other side you're opening up and then coming back opening up and then coming back again you're taking your knee with your foot not necessarily just stepping out with the foot take your knee with you and open up the arm just brings in just a little bit gets your heart rate going a little bit i always like to when i'm doing seated things incorporate some arm movements too because then that makes it a little bit harder. Three, two, 
and one. Before we stand up, what I want you to do now is you're gonna take opposite arm, opposite leg, and I just want you to lift that leg off the ground. Opposite arm, opposite leg, just get it off the ground. Because from here, what I want you to try to do is speed it up. Might feel kind of awkward and again try not to lean back try to stay sitting up straight if you're on a soft chair it might be a little bit harder but i want you to keep your chest up i don't want you to fall back because then you might feel in your back not so great opposite arm opposite leg and i want you to see if you can speed it up everything about arthritis is slowing down but it doesn't have to be especially if you have bone on bone arthritis it's always be careful watch out slow down take it easy but in reality, you don't necessarily have to if we're doing the right things. Three, two, and one. Okay, now we are going to take it into standing and I want you to stand next to your chair. Make sure your chair does not have wheels and that it will be stable, meaning it's just not gonna move. So make sure you have a stable surface to start with. Okay. So whenever we're doing anything, I always try to start with the less painful side first. And so if both sides are painful, that is okay. But think about starting with the less painful side first. So I want you to stand on your less painful side first. So for me, I'll just say it's my left leg. And now you're going to step forward and back, forward and back. But one of the things I want you to try to do is just tap with that leg. So instead of actually shifting your weight forwards and backwards, just try to tap forwards and back. You're using the chair. I honestly like to have the chair on the opposite side of the leg you're standing on and the leg that's moving in the middle because it keeps you further upright. Tapping. Three, two, and one. Okay, now on this side, what you're going to do is you're gonna step forward, sideways. Forward, sideways. This one you can actually shift your weight a little bit, forward and sideways. We're working on some coordination. And I just like to move the arm, so coming forward, sideways, forward, sideways just gives you a lot of other things to focus on besides your knee pain. Three, two, and last one. All right, now what we're actually gonna do is just switch. So I'm just gonna move my chair, but you can just walk over to the other side of your chair. All right, so now you're gonna do the same thing. So again, the chair is opposite of the leg that you're standing on, and the, chair, the leg that's moving is in the middle. Okay, now all we're gonna do is we're just gonna do that tap. Now, if this is the more painful side and it's hard just to tap and shift some of your weight onto that leg, just step. So I do actually want you to shift your weight if it is hard for you to put all your weight on one side. But if you're avoiding putting all your weight on one side because you're anticipating pain and it's maybe a little bit scary, I encourage you just to try. You have support. We're not doing anything that's going to further damage your leg. Try to put some weight on that leg. A lot of times it's just fear that can play a big part in holding us back from trying different things. But if you need to, absolutely just step forwards and backwards. Just a couple more here. And then we're gonna switch to that forwards and sideways. Three, two, and one. Okay, now you're gonna step forward, sideways. Forward, sideways. You'll start to feel that hip maybe on that leg that you're standing on. Start to kick in a little bit. That's ideally what we want. Forward and sideways. Now you can add that arm if you want to. Forward and sideways. Just whatever feels natural to you. Maybe feel that heart rate climbing just a little bit. 
three, two, and the last one. Okay, now I want you to turn and actually face your chair. Now, what you're going to do is step back, step back. I want you to stay up nice and tall and you're just alternating stepping back. I want you to unlock your knees a little bit so they're just a little bit bent. I just don't want you stepping straight with straight legs. Now, if you can, I want you to see if you can just speed it up just a little bit. Add a little bit of pep to your step, stepping backwards. Start to engage those hips a little bit. And if you can, try to take a couple steps without holding on to something, if you feel stable enough to do so. Three, two, and one. Now what I want you to do, we're gonna st again start on that less painful side. So for me, it was my left side. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to bring my left heel up. Left heel up. I want you to ideally bring it up as close to your bottom as you can. I know that with bone on bone knee arthritis, it might feel stiff. What we're trying to target is the, the muscles in the backs of your legs. They tend to get tight and they can get kind of crampy too. So if you do feel a cramp, just kind of shake it out. And then we are actually just going to switch to the other side, bending that heel up. Bend that heel up just as far as you can. You might even feel a little stretch in the front and that's okay too. Three, two, and one. Okay, now what we're going to do is just step one, two, one, two. I'm gonna show you from the side, but I like to do this one standing in front of a chair. One, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. Step as small as you need to. Sometimes moving side to side can be painful. If it is not though, I want you to see if you can step a little bit wider than maybe is comfortable for you. See how that feels. Now again, I like to do this in front of the chair so you have support. But the goal is to move away from support so you'll never know till you try so even just letting go for maybe one or two steps if you feel comfortable or just kind of lightly holding on to that chair so you're not bending forward on it. starting to kind of build some confidence getting away from that support and I always like to try a few reps with support first so you kind of get the rhythm of it Okay, now what I want you to do, we're gonna try to go away from support a little bit, but absolutely hang on if you need to. You're gonna take both arms and you're gonna put them down at your sides just like this. Now, what you're going to do is you're gonna step back and pulse those arms back. I'll show you from the side here. Step back and pulse those arms back. Step backwards. Backwards usually can feel pretty good, especially with going on bone knee arthritis, so I want you to try to get some more backwards movement. The arms is just to kind of add in some support, keep them straight, and focus on those shoulder blades, kind of those muscles on the outside of those shoulder blades right in here as you squeeze back. Squeeze and open that chest up. <clears throat> now if you need to, you can hang on to one side and kind of alternate this way. That is a-okay, but if you can, I do challenge you to see if you can do both sides. We have 10 left. 10, nine, eight, seven. Only take your shoulders back as far as is comfortable. This is not meant to flare any other pains up, especially. Three, two, and one. Okay, now what I want you to do, we're gonna just go to balance really quick. So now, I want you to try to put one foot in front of the other. If you need to take that foot out to the side a little bit, 
that's okay. Have the chair next to you for support. Notice I'm starting with that less painful side in the back. So less painful side in the back, The maybe the leg that's bothering you more, put that in front to start. Okay, now find your position here. Find a position where you can at least stand here for 10 seconds without feeling super wobbly. If you need to, move your leg further out to the side. All right, now, once you're here, what I want you to do is you're going to take one arm out to the side and one arm in the middle, and you're just gonna rotate just like this. What this is doing is moving our weight side to side and making your knee and ankles and feet and hips stabilize yourself, keep yourself upright. If you're feeling wobbly, that is okay, but if you feel too wobbly where you think you're gonna fall, just move that foot out to the side. And you can also hang on with one arm here on the support. So please choose which one you feel most comfortable with. And then taking your arms out to the side if you can. Three, two, and one. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take both arms all the way up if you can, all the way overhead, and then swing them back behind you. So you're gonna take them all the way up, or just as high as you can, and then swing them behind you. Up and back. I like to keep my elbows semi-bent on this one just because it feels a little bit better. One thing I want you to be conscious of though is as you're doing this, try to tuck your hips underneath so that as you're coming overhead, you're not necessarily arching, especially if you have back pain too. I don't want you to arch backwards. I want you to stay nice and stable looking forwards. Three, two, and one. Now you're gonna switch to the other side. Okay, so first find that position where you can hold this for at least 10 seconds. Move your foot if you need to. And now you're gonna again take those arms side to side. After you complete this, I have a story to share with you that I will share the video, but it is of a woman who had a bone on bone knee arthritis, was kind of shocked that she even had it in the first place, and then started dealing with some severe knee pain. But she was actually able to come out on the other side, even when they wanted to schedule surgery, she's now walking. Her dogs without pain, something she hasn't done in a while, and she's been able to actually enjoy exercise again, actually find exercises, like even squats and deadlifts and things like that, that she's been able to do without flaring up her pain. She's been able to go to Costco again and tolerate walking around. So I do want to share that with you, especially if you have bone on bone knee arthritis. Sometimes it's very inspiring to hear what other people have done and what has worked for them. All right, we have three, two, and one. Now you're gonna take both arms down by your sides. If we're still okay in this position, I want you to raise them up and swing them just back behind you. Essentially, this is kind of like walking, but you're moving both arms at the same time, whereas walking, you would be alternating like that. But we're just moving them both at the same time. Again, thinking about trying not to arch your back as you go up. Try to squeeze your glutes, squeeze your hips, and just raise those arms up one at a time. Up and down. Keep those glutes squeezed. We have three, two, and one. Okay, now stand on the side of your chair or you can stand here if you don't feel as confident. But what you're going to do is just march up, march up essentially putting all your weight on one side. Now, if this is hard for you, what I want you to do is just take a step forward, come back. Step forward, come back. Step forward, come back. Just like this. But if you can, I want you to try to shift your weight a little bit. chair and all I want you to do is just kick out to the side 
Now, again, you're putting all your weight on one side. So I'll show you from here. I just want you to kick out to the side. One thing I don't want you to do is tilt over as you're kicking. So I want you to stay up nice and tall, which is why I like to do this in front of the chair. But you can do it here too. If this is painful, again, to put all your weight on one side, just step to the side. Stepping sideways and backwards can be extremely important, especially if you have bone on bone knee arthritis, because you're essentially trying to stress other parts of the joint that you don't necessarily stress during the day. We're always moving forward, and so adding in some of that variety is huge. And I want you to switch to the other side. So I want you to either kick out to the side, standing on one leg, or just step. Great things to do at the kitchen counter, great things to do when you're brushing your teeth or whenever you find yourself just kind of standing. Keeping yourself in motion will help with, I know a lot of times people have trouble standing for a long period of time. If you can keep yourself moving a little bit, then that will be helpful. Okay, if you did like this workout, I have 10 more where that came from in my signature online program, The Arthritis Adventure Blueprint. And this is what has helped a group of people with bone on bone knee arthritis finally enjoy things like mowing the lawn or feel like they can do them again. Even just making things easier like getting dressed and standing for longer than 10 to 15 minutes. Getting out of bed just a little bit easier in the morning. Tackling stairs just a little bit easier. These things are so possible even if you have bone on bone knee arthritis. We're essentially showing your knees that you can move and you can do these certain movements by building strength and by adding to your confidence. It's all about finding movements that your knees actually like to do, but movement is just one part of the pain equation. And a lot of times we may be doing other things that are flaring up our bone on bone knee arthritis pain that don't necessarily involve movement. And this has been one of the most surprising things is that before we even started the exercise portion in this Blueprint online course, people were able to find relief by just looking at what, could, what else could be contributing to their pain. We were able to find relief before even starting the exercise portion, which is something that is not necessarily super common, especially in our traditional medical system. So I'm going to put the link down to that course below because I want you to check it out and I want you to take a leap of faith on yourself because you deserve to be out of pain. You deserve to be adventuring. And this is a step-by-step -step blueprint guide on how exactly to do that. If you enjoyed this video, also put a comment below. Let me know that you did this. Keep yourself accountable. Thank you so much. And I also have the version one of this video as well that I'm going to put below. So if you caught this version two before the version one, go check that one out too. It's in the same format and it's more movements that your knees will be able to handle. Thank you.